here's the box it came in look how big it is it can barely fit into the frame i don't think i've ever had a lucky bag or a lucky box that is of this size and it's hefty there's some weight to it so that means there must be some real goodies and i can't wait to open it up so let's do that why don't we and it takes a little bit of effort to actually slide it out because it's just it's packed tight against <laughs> the shipping box that came in it is literally as big as the packaging itself it's huge i hope i am able to get it all in the frame but it seems like this is the best i can do so this is the lucky box or the happy box that the hanari tofu fukubukuro comes in this is probably the biggest lucky box i've ever got to date and true to japan packaging it's always worth taking a look because packaging is just as cool so here we have featuring the main Chinese zodiac animal of the year. 2022 is the year of the tiger, which is my year, so I am very excited. This little guy is the highlight of this happy box. And on this side, you have the regulars. I'm not 100% sure if I'm getting the characters right, but I do believe this one is an ume tofu. This is a yaki tofu or grilled tofu. Up here is yuzu tofu. And finally, we have matcha tofu. This side also has some cute designs. It has all four original tofu stacked up right on top of each other. The back has the same design as the front, and again, the same size of design. The top part of the box has this plastic strap to it, which you can use to carry home your happy box. And let me try to get the front here. Hanari Tofu, which is the name of the series of tofu, or the name of this merchandise lineup, and Happy Box. And you have a little ume tofu right there. Okay, without further ado, let's open this huge baby up. Oh, okay, it opens this way. Interesting. Oh, it's filled to the brim. It is packed. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Uh, it doesn't fit on my desk, so I'll have to put this down. Okay. First item that I'm pulling out. What is this? Oh, masks with designs on them. It's probably a little difficult to tell on camera. This is of like an aquamarine slash light teal. And on the back, we have a blue one. So it is a set of two masks featuring the different Hanari tofus. Very cute. Number two is a cute little hand towel. It seems rather small, so I want to guess that this is meant for kids <laughs> because I don't think um, this is big enough for someone like me to use. According to this, it's 100% cotton. So the front part where the tofu characters featured on it is made of that gauze-like material, while the back side is more of that terry cloth slash towel material and you have on the top here written in hiragana and kanji or chinese characters saying hanari tofu which is the name of this merchandise line or the characters and all four original tofu characters again featured on the front oh i forgot to mention that this is indeed a kid's towel because they have a label here that you often find featured on kids' clothes or kids' branded items and they have a space here for you to write the name of your child on this spot. The next one I'm pulling out is, oh, a pair of ume tofu fuzzy socks. I forgot to mention what ume means. Ume is a type of flower. It looks a lot like sakura, but it is not. It's actually a plum blossom. So this is a tofu of plum blossoms. They're also pink in color, which is probably why they can be easily confused with the sakura or the cherry blossom flowers. But anyway, what I have here are thick, thick socks. You get a pair and they have the same designs front and back. And here's a closer look at the little ume tofu. Another pair of socks! And this time it features yuzu tofu right here on the bottom. You had ume-chan on the top, this time yuzu is at the bottom. And you have featured alongside yuzu tofu are the actual fruits themselves. Yuzu is a type of citrus fruit. It's not as sour as a lemon and it's not as tangy as an orange. It's kind of like in between. Yuzu is quite popular in the winter, especially if you go to a hot spring. Same designs front and back of both socks. Oh, the 
Hashi of the Chinese Zodiac Animal of the Year, the Tiger, my animal. This is my first Hanari Tofu Zodiac Animal. Oh my gosh, it's so unbelievably soft. This is so squishy and so soft. This is like a stress reliever. This is a guaranteed item that you'll be getting in your happy box. Look how adorable this little guy is. Oh my gosh, I can't get enough of it. He comes with a ball and chain. And look at the blush on his cheeks. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. And everything about him is embroidered. I love that touch. The little ears and the little hands or the little paws. Oh my god, I could just do this all day. There's so many nubs. <laughs> And the side has stripes all around, the top also, the bottom does not. This is the cutest thing so far. The fabric tag is just as cool. It has uh, colors that complement the rest of the body, it doesn't stand out. I especially like this part of the tag. It has Hanari written there as well as the face of a tiger and then it has in hiragana tofu at the back oh this is huge and pretty awesome to be getting in something like a happy box it's a set of pajamas pajamas that have fleece lining inside oh my goodness and the featured tofu on the front of it is the grilled tofu or yaki tofu. Getting something like this is mind-blowing already. It's beaten any of the Disney lucky bags that I've opened because I've never received apparel or clothing in a lucky bag from the Disney store or from Tokyo Disney. Wow, the top is quite long. Oh, here are the pants. It's just a very solid color pants. I don't know what kind of blue this is, but it seems like a grayish kind of blue. One pocket on the right butt cheek, just one. And the top just has that one design of yaki dofu. This is super comfy and it's made of a similar material like that of sweatpants or a sweatshirt. It's definitely made for the colder seasons of the year. Whoa, what is this? This is the matcha tofu. He is huge. He is fluffy. Super soft. Oh my gosh, I wish you could feel this. He is incredibly soft and fluffy and there is so much fluff inside this little guy. There is substance to it. Look how thick he is. They did not skimp on the stuffing. So Matcha, what are you? Do they say on the label? Oh yes, they do. So this is for your feet. This is a foot warmer or a cushion for your feet. Being in Japan, there is no such thing or it's very rare for homes to have central heating. So it's very easy for your hands and your feet to get cold. So something like this is perfect for Japanese homes. And I am pretty happy to be receiving this. I mean like, why didn't I think about something like this sooner? I mean, I have fluffy slippers, but it's not the same. It's not kawaii. It's not like this cute. This is great if you like, say, if you're sitting at the table and you're drinking a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and you're reading a book or you're playing a video game and this will keep your feet nice and toasty. It's so perfect and oh my gosh, again, I am a sucker for the blush spots on kawaii characters. <gasps> Number eight is a bigger version of the little guy we just saw earlier. Oh my goodness! So cute. Oh my gosh. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. The great thing about Hanani Tofu is that they're stackable, so let's see what mama and baby look like when they're together. <gasps> Isn't that the cutest thing ever? Oh my goodness. I just love Hanari Tofu. Whoa, this seems like a mat. This is a PVC mat. It measures 40 by 60 centimeters. Oh, I can't wait to see the design of this mat. So according to the labels here, it's easy to wipe off any dirt because of the material it's made of. And because there's some thickness to it, you can see that there's a little bit of like some sort of cushion-like um, lining inside that it's hard for it to get kinks. So what I'm guessing they're trying to say is it's sturdy in that way. Of course it's gonna have all the tofu buddies there. And here on the side it says Hanari Tofu. This will be great for when I am doing some crafting because I work with a lot of small pieces and tools. So this will be a great addition to my workspace just to keep everything together. Oh cute! It is a little canvas tote bag. I would say this is the size of a lunch bag. 
Is that what it's advertised to be? No, but it can totally carry your lunchbox, especially that of a child's or even a soup container. Officially, this is called a mini canvas tote bag. So there we have in red, the Hanani Tofu Buddies. The inside is pretty plain. The back is blank and two straps. Pretty simple. Oh, and there is a fabric tag here that says Hanari Tofu, and at the back it says Happens, which is the company that these little guys are home to. There's actually three items in this, so let's pull that out one by one. First up, we have, looks like a set of stickers, yep, it is a sheet of stickers featuring the Zodiac Animal of the Year and the other Tofu Buddies, and this sticker sheet has a set of six stickers. The next thing I'm pulling out is this plastic clear file folder that features all of the regular buddies as well as the featured animal on the top. I love that they're stacked like a tower. That's what Hanari Tofus are meant to do after all. And right here it also says Hanari Tofu. There is a design on the back as well and it says Hanari Ikoka. I don't know if that's a pun but it means shall we go to Hanari? I'm not exactly sure what Hanari is. I didn't know it was a place. And finally the last thing that's in this packaging is a year-long calendar that has all of the months of 2022 listed down here with all the tofu buddies laid out on the top and interestingly most of it is written in english for instance the title here is written in english the days of the week as well as the months are also written in english wow you really don't see something like that every day in japan to recap everything that came in the hanari tofu happy box we have a yearly calendar a plastic file organizer as well as a set of stickers i can barely fit in the frame but just know that this is the foot cushion or feet cushion mama tiger tofu plush baby tiger tofu plush a pajama set a mini canvas bag two pairs of thick socks a mat a gauze towel and finally a set of masks everything here was in that 5,000 yen happy box and even though there were no prizes listed on any of the items you can easily see that this is way over what you paid for because character goods or character merchandise in Japan are not cheap and I can easily see like something like the foot cushion to cost at least like 3,000 yen, the set of pajamas to be an easy 4,000 yen. This box was a complete surprise to me and what I especially love about this box is that not only is everything kawaii, not only is everything cute, they're practical. You can use this in your everyday life. I can easily say that I am completely satisfied and I don't think I've ever felt that way about a lucky bag or a lucky box. So this has completely blown me away and so easily worth the 5,000 thousand yen that you pay for for all of this stuff. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to support me, please give this video a like and consider subscribing to my channel. Let me know about your thoughts about this box, which ones were your favorite. Thank you so much for stopping by and for sharing your time with me. I wish you all the best in the coming year and I'll see you in the next video.